kids, welcome to Kids Church Online. We are so excited you're joining us today. Welcome to our kingdom. We have an amazing journey to discover and find the full armor of God. Let's jump to it. that was so much fun. Let's continue on to our quest to find the rest of the armor of God. Now last week we found the chest plate of righteousness, but this week we are looking for the shoes of peace. Whew. Hey Em! Bree, you finally caught up with us! Yeah, am I late? Well, we already found the chest plate of righteousness, but now we're looking for the shoes of peace. So we already looked through all these different rooms in the castle, but I still haven't found them. Well, should we look? I guess we can continue looking. Yeah, I think so. I'm ready. Are you? Let's go. Hey, Em, have you checked out these rooms? I haven't. Geez, there sure is a lot of echo. Echo, echo! Shh. Do you hear that? Is someone snoring? Is the king's personal portrait painter. And he's wearing his creative cloak. And he's wearing the shoes of peace. Let's take them. No, stop! Hey, hey! What's going on here? Brianna was gonna take your shoes of peace. 
You see, we need them to complete the armor of God. So I have to take them. Well, wait, hold on, hold on. See, all this is creating is chaos and just a lot of not good feelings. It's not how we're supposed to be. It's not what the armor of God is all about. The, the shoes of peace are all about God's peace. You know what? This reminds me of today's Bible story. Let's look at it. The Miracle of Mercy David and Saul This is David. Hey! David was a shepherd who lived in Israel. David was chosen by God to be the next king of Israel when he was just a boy. But David had to wait a very long time until that promise would come true because there was another king of Israel named Saul. Saul was strong and tall and looked like everything a king should be. But Saul did not follow God like he was supposed to. And for that reason, God chose to take the kingdom from Saul's family and give it to David's. David became a great warrior. Ah! And everyone in the kingdom loved David. Huh? This made Saul jealous, and Saul hated David because he thought he would try to kill him and take the throne from his family. So Saul wanted to kill David. Whoa! Saul hunted David, but he couldn't catch him. One day, Saul heard that David was in the wilderness of En Gedi. So Saul gathered 3,000 of his skilled fighters and went to find and kill David. During Saul's search for David, he went in a cave to relieve himself. Well, this very cave was the one where David and his men were hiding. And when David's men saw that Saul was unaware that David was there and unable to defend himself, they said, Now's your chance, David. This is God telling you that he will give you your enemy to do with as you wish. So David crept forward and cut off a piece of Saul's robe. But then David began to think that it was not right for him to take Saul's life. For no matter how much hardship and difficulty Saul had caused him, it was still not right for him to hurt the one who God had placed over Israel. So David told his men to back off, and he did not let them kill King Saul. They waited until after Saul had left the cave. And then David ran out of the cave and shouted after Saul, My king! Why do you listen to people who say I am trying to harm you? Look, I cut it off, but I didn't kill you. This proves that I am not trying to harm you and that I have not sinned against you, even though you've been hunting me. David went on to promise that he would never harm Saul. David said that God would be the one to protect David and to rescue him from Saul's power. Saul said, Is that really you, David? And he began to cry. Saul said, you are a better man than I. You have been amazingly kind to me today, for when God put me in a place where you could have killed me, you didn't do it. Who else would have done this? And now I realize that you are surely going to be king, and the kingdom of Israel will flourish under your rule. But promise me that when that happens, you will not kill my family. So David promised that he would not hurt Saul's family, and they left each other in peace. Now Saul continued to cause difficulty in David's life. But David kept his promise and in time, David did become king of Israel. David was dearly loved by God and Israel did flourish under his rule because David did everything that God wanted him to do and he was a man after God's own heart. See, just like in the Bible story, it's important that we choose to do what is right and not what is wrong and keep the peace. That's all what the shoes of peace are about. You're right, Em. 
See, it's important, Brie, that instead of taking the shoes, that you ask the king's personal portrait painter if you can have the shoes. Mr. Portrait Painter, can I please have your shoes of peace to finish our armor of God? Well, if you've truly learned your lesson, then yes, you can have the shoes of peace. Great job, Brianna! We just earned the shoes of peace by fighting for peace even when it was easier to do the wrong thing. I'm so proud of you! We're so close to finishing the armor of God! See, we already have the belt of truth. We have the chest plate of righteousness. And, and now, now, you have the shoes of peace. Yay! Well, I'm ready to use the shoes of peace and finish our journey and finish the armor of God. Let's go on our quest. I'm going back to bed. Let's go. I close my eyes and colors fly. There's no hiding from your grace. I can't deny your heart for mine. And it's unrelenting change. I was on the edge of deception, caught up in my own hesitation until you love to go from me. So I let go and I let love show me life like it's supposed to be. And oasis, here await us all the freedom I'll ever need. Now I'm alive. verse found in 1 Corinthians 16 13. Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. What a fun day! Let's make sure we subscribe and join us next week for more fun. Bye! Bye.